Hi guys! Today I thought I would go through a few things that I picked up doing some shopping for my kids the other day. A lot of this stuff has been an accumulation of stuff I just wanted to share with y'all so I could start using it and be able to tell you about it. So the first thing I got was this Wet n Wild Dual Ended Contour Stick. And it is in the color medium tan, so we'll see. This was the only one out there. I thought I have been using contour products now for a little bit, so I thought I would try a cream product and see how well that worked for me. Uh, this product was super, super inexpensive. I think it was four bucks, so we'll see how this works. The next Wet n Wild product I actually bought was this Wet n Wild Retractable Brow Pencil. It has a spoolie on the end and it is the like triangle tip. So this kind of reminds me of the uh, Goof Proof. So we'll see how that works. I did get it in Ash Brown. So that hopefully that will help counteract the red in the NYX product I have. Or, you know, make it more subtle. I got this brow product too because I do like the micro pencils. And this is Maybelline. So the last one I tried that was drugstore was CoverGirl. It didn't last very long. I have tried the Maybelline brow product that is a pencil on one end and powder on the other and I did enjoy it so I thought I would try this one and this is in the color soft brown so we will see just a micro brow pencil this guy was I think six bucks the wet and wild one was two dollars I also picked up a Maybelline master camo color correcting pen I accidentally picked up the yellow one I really wanted to pick up the purple one but I have my daughter going there today to see if she can find the purple one but uh, I'm not opposed to trying this it helps the dark dark orange that I have helps mellow it out just a little bit and I am anxious to try this pin actually so next thing I bought also wet and wild is this mega glow hello halo I didn't really like the powder mega glows so we're gonna try this guy it does come with a doe foot applicator I think it'll be a lot like the cover effects shimmer veil that I have maybe a little less glitter but I'm anxious to try it. It is in holographic is what it says. Let's see if I can get it to focus for you. Holographic. The next thing I bought was this Batiste dry shampoo in Sassy and Daring. I got it at TG Maxx for nine bucks. I'm pretty excited to try it because I did put in my favorites and also in my empties, my Aura B. Just, I think that's how you say it, and correct me if I'm wrong, but just like I think this is Batiste, but I could be wrong on that too. The Aura B dry shampoo that I have, it's been quite the lifesaver for me, so I went ahead and purchased a big size. I also picked up this makeup brush shampoo. Again, I got this at Ross for four bucks, which is just a little bit more than I pay for my smaller size elf one. And this guy is suits the same purpose. It is a pretty big bottle. I mean, next to this full size Batiste, it's almost the same size. It is a huge bottle. I figured that. I will try that out and it will last me long enough to get the Cinema Secrets from Sephora after the Sephora sale starts and I think that's in a couple weekends so super excited to try this 
I just on a whim was able to find this at Ross. So I was going to go purchase another elf one for three bucks. So this one was four. Super glad I got that. The next thing I got was this glitter Rotty. Glitter Rotsy by Hard Candy. From what I can gather, they're supposed to be like the cover effect shimmer veil or uh, the, the seal is shimmer and glows, the uh, glimmer eyeshadows. Anyways, this guy you can use on, your, it says you can use it on your lids, your your eyes, your lips, or anywhere you choose. So I got this because I thought that this color was really pretty. It's kind of duochrome-y. Um, to use on my eyes, and I actually picked up some NYX stuff that's like this in my Ulta stuff that I'm getting. I haven't purchased yet, but I will purchase before the 7th because I'm getting some Laura Geller primers. I have some NYX versions of this, and in my Sephora cart, I actually have the Stila, a set of Stila ones. I plan on doing a comparison of the Hard Candy versus the Stila versus the Cover Effects versus the NYX. So, two drugstore versions and two high-end versions. That should be an interesting sell. And then this I got at, this one is actually my daughter's and she stuck her finger all up in it today because I got it for her for Easter and I got it at TJ Maxx for $24 I want to say. This is six pans of highlighter and it is typically $40 and I got it for $24 so and she's really super happy about that because she was really super, super mad that she did not get the one that was supposed to come in the boxy charm this last month and instead got the Ofra one. <laughs> she was she was not impressed. So I went ahead and picked her up one of those for Easter. I also have one. She's been coveting mine for a while, but she really wanted the one that was supposed to come in boxy charm. But I love my Aurora Glow palette, and she will probably also love it. She's already played with it. She's got highlighter all over her face. So this is my little tiny mini haul, guys. I am super glad I got to share it with you. It cost me about... Besides the gift for my daughter, this, all this stuff here, I would say it cost me probably 30 bucks total because... This was nine, this was, this was nine, and this was the most, so nine, four, this guy was, I think, six bucks, but, like, four bucks, two bucks, two bucks, and these guys were, I think, five a piece, so maybe, maybe 30, I'm thinking roughly 30, 35, so I'm pretty stoked about this little tiny haul, I will be purchasing some stuff from Ulta during the 21 days and also some stuff from Sephora. They have a little tiny VIB sale coming, so I will have a couple more hauls for you in the near, near future, but I thought I would share this with you guys so that I could start using it and be able to tell you about it. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope that you liked this video, and if you did, that you're giving me a big thumbs up. I hope that you want to subscribe to my channel, I would enjoy having you as part of my YouTube family.